Hi fellow makeup fans, today I'm doing a video on this palette and this is a palette called the Smokescreen Palette by Sigma. Now recently I did get the Fall Softly palette which you would have seen in um, my last haul video and it kind of made me want to get more of the Sigma palettes. I knew they were great because I had the Creme de Couture already um, but I just fell in love with the colours in the Fall Softly and I just felt like that they looked amazing and looked better than like some of the pictures on the sites where you can actually buy them so I just thought oh I'm gonna get that and this is a palette that I was gonna get quite a while ago and then I kind of hummed and hard about it and didn't get it. They retail for £29.95. There's a few sites in the UK that you can actually purchase these from. I think Cocktail Cosmetics might have them, um, but I get mine from Beauty Chamber, which as you know, I regularly shop at Beauty Chamber and I really rate their service. So I got this one and I wanted to show you the colours in it. Now, one of the colours, it's quite amusing because the packaging is exactly the same. I'm just getting it out the drawer. <laughs> as um, the Fall Softly one in that it came in this sort of sleeve on the outside as you can see it says smoke screen and then it's got the colours on the back which I really like how it's set out it's very simple and just looks really good and you can see those are the colours and it's got the name of the shades on the only one I can't really see is the black one so um yeah because it's black printed on back so I'm struggling a little bit with that one so I will try and find that out though in somebody else's video um, but yeah that's basically the packaging really really nice and then I like this this packaging to be fair I like it it's it's, it's a nice size it's not huge um, but the shadows are very nice they've got Sigma printed on them and they're a decent size actually I feel like some pack some packaging can be like all about um, you know putting names underneath and creating space between the shadows and I feel like this one there's a lot of shadow and a lot less packaging which just is fantastic and it's much better than the creme de couture in a way I absolutely love the creme de couture but the thing about this is the shadows are just little circles they're quite small if they'd done the same with this and made them square Yes, it would not have looked like they wanted to because they're meant to look like macaroons. Um, but you would have got more shadow. Um, so I tend to go quite easy using that one because I just absolutely love it. But this is this one. I'm going to tell you the names of the colours and I'm going to swatch them for you. Um, it's got a great mirror there. I'm not going to blind you with it, but it's the whole size of the lid itself. So it's like this size. It's really, really good and right so let's crack on and I will show you the shades in here so along the top starting here you have got veiled opulent what does that say <laughs> ember and thunderhead the next row you've got Misty, which is this amu uh, amusing, amazing lilac colour. Um, as you can see, I've actually swatched most of these. <laughs> and sorry, I didn't say the colours across the top are sort of peachy browns. And the next colour is Haze, which is kind of a mauve brown, a mauve top colour. Then you have got Svelte and Rave. On the bottom row is Nebula. This is amazing. I have nothing like this in my collection at all. Right, so the next one's Atmosphere, Cinders, and I've managed to read it, it says Almost Jet. So that is what the palette looks like, and I'm going to get on and do some swatches for you now. So this is the first row. You've got Veiled first, which is sort of a peachy, very pale gold colour, really, really pretty. Then you've got Opulent. Yes, opulent, which is a copper shade, which is really pretty. Then you've got ember, which is a bronzer shade, a bronzer, a bronzy sort of shade. And then thunderhead, which is a lovely matte sort of warm brown colour. So that's the first row. You can see they're really pigmented. That is one swipe of the shadow. They're really, really fantastic quality shadows. I absolutely love them. So let's move on to the next row. So next, I can't speak today. <laughs> this is the next row. So the first shade there you can see, oh my goodness, look at that lilac. It's the perfect dusty pale lilac colour. This is the colour that I was looking for ages ago to do a look and I just could not find it. And I ended up mixing a couple of colours from the creme de couture, I think, but it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to use that. I've got nothing like it. And then here's, which is like sort of a, a taupe colour, but it's got a hint of a mauve to it, I think. That's really, really pretty as well. And then you've got svelte, which is a true bronze, um, brassy sort of colour, really. Um, yeah 
quite a darkened colour. And then Rave, which is a warm sort of, almost ready sort of brown with some frost to it. Really, really pretty, that one. I think that'll look lovely all over the lid, actually. Nice. So that is the second row. So this is the last row. Look at the pigmentation. Absolutely amazing. And um, the first shade is Nebula. It's this beautiful blue. It's a bright sort of turquoise blue. It's not like most of the turquoises I've come across, but it seems to have a little bit of sort of a greeny gold shimmer on top, which is very, very pretty. Then you've got Atmosphere, which is kind of this ready warm brown, which is gorgeous. I love that colour. The next one is Cinders, which is this lovely frosty sort of silver grey. Also very pretty. And almost jet is just jet. <laughs> Look at the pigmentation on that black. It's crazy. And that seems to have a little bit of a frost about it, which is quite unusual because most blacks tend to be really quite matte. So it's quite nice to have a one that's got some shine to it. So those are the swatches for the palette. I think it's absolutely stunning. I'm really glad that I got it. I don't know if I'm going to get any more. I do have my eye on the other two. I've been looking at them, um, been looking at swatches. I'm not sure in the future whether I'd get them. But if I do, I will certainly haul them for you and show them. I'm super impressed with these shadows. I did a look with this one yesterday, um, but one of the files that was included in the look was corrupted, so I lost a good portion of that tutorial. So unfortunately, I can't share that with you, but I used these yesterday's, uh, yesterday's? Yesterday, I, and I absolutely loved them. Um, I used this one, which I think is lyrical. Lovely, keen on you. Is that dubious? I feel like it's oh, glorious. It's something like that. Um, elderberry, go deep, and silver tongued. So I used quite a few colours out of this palette and really enjoyed it. And I really can't wait to experiment with this one. So there are swatches again for you if you're thinking about getting it. Pigmentation is crazy. They're very buttery and soft and blend beautifully. So I'm absolutely in love and very pleased with them. So thank you for watching as always. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I'm going to love and leave you there and see you all soon. Bye.